The Blue Cat Club by Bernard Smith James and Chantal live in a small town near Cannes in France. This afternoon they are in their garden. James is looking at the newspaper. Where can we go this evening? Chantal asks. Let's go to the Blue Cat Club, James says. It's very good. Look, you can eat and drink and you can dance. We can drive there. They drive down into Cannes and look for the Blue Cat Club. It is in a big street near the sea. Oh, look, Chantal says. There it is. And look, there's a cabaret too. Merlin, man of magic. Good, I love magic. OK, James says. Let's go in and get a good table at the front. They go into the Blue Cat Club and sit at a table at the front. There is music and people are dancing. James asks a man for some drinks. It's a hot night. A tomato juice, please, he says. And for you, Chantal? A tomato juice for me too, please, she says. The man brings the drinks quickly to their table. Suddenly, the music stops and the cabaret starts. They see Merlin, the man of magic. He is very clever. He walks from table to table. He goes behind the people at the tables. He is very friendly. He takes fruit from a woman's hair and an egg from a man's mouth. People are laughing. Chantal loves it. How does he do that? She says to James. Now Merlin is standing behind James and Chantal. Good evening, he smiles. Who is this beautiful girl? And that's a beautiful dress, too. He touches Chantal's hair and her dress. He touches James's shoulder, too. James is unhappy. The man is very friendly and James does not like it. And now, Merlin says with a smile, what have I got here for this beautiful girl? A necklace! Oh, my necklace, Chantal says. Look, James, he's got my necklace. Merlin smiles and gives her the necklace. He smiles at James, too, but James is very quiet. People are laughing and he is not happy. Oh, look at this young man, Merlin smiles. He isn't very happy. Look at his face. He's angry with me. And why is he angry? Look, I have his money and his watch. Merlin has James's watch and his wallet in his hands. Here you are, he smiles. One watch and one wallet. It's only my little game. Two men bring a big, heavy box onto the stage. There are five holes in the front of the box and five long swords in the holes. You can see the ends of the swords behind the box. Merlin takes the five swords out of the holes and opens the door of the box. And now, he says, I want one volunteer, please. 
Merlin looks at Chantal with a smile. Perhaps you can be my volunteer, he says. James stands up quickly. He puts his hands on Chantal's shoulders. No, he says. Not her, thank you. Then perhaps, perhaps you, young man, Merlin smiles. You can come and stand in my box. It's not difficult. James stands at the table. What can he do? The people in the room are looking at him. They are waiting. Chantal is looking at him too. You can do it, she says quietly. It's only magic. Go on the stage and get in the box for him. Okay, James says slowly. He goes onto the stage and gets into the big box. Now James is in the box. Merlin closes the door at the front. He smiles at the people in the room. He takes one of the swords and pushes it slowly into a hole in the door of the box. The people in the room are very quiet. Is the young man in the box okay? Merlin pushes swords two, three, and four into the box too. Merlin has only one sword now. There is only one hole in the door. Merlin smiles again at the people in front of him and pushes the sword in quickly. Ah! Merlin smiles at the people at the tables in front of him. Perhaps the young man is having a little game with us, he says, but he looks very unhappy. Merlin takes the swords quickly from the box. One, two, three, four, five, all on the floor of the stage. Slowly, he opens the door of the box. James is in it, but he is not moving. His eyes are closed. His shirt under his hands is red, very red. Oh no, Merlin says. What's wrong? I don't understand. I... I'm sorry. Suddenly, James opens his eyes. He smiles at Merlin. In his hands, he has a small bottle. It's okay, he laughs. It's only tomato juice. It's only my little game, Mr. Magic. Merlin's face is very red now. The people at the tables are laughing at him. He goes away quickly. The music starts again and people dance. James goes to Chantal and sits down at the table again. He puts the bottle of tomato juice on the table and smiles at her. Only my little game, he says again quietly. She takes his hand. Don't be angry, she smiles at him. You're always my Mr. Magic, always.